Life is full of twists and turns and unexpected outcomes. I don't know if you know my story or not, but my mother was married and divorced seven times. She was a raging alcoholic. So I was a really lonely little kid and drawing and art played a huge role in my development. It was a place for me to escape to, to get away from the crazy life that was happening around me and to connect to something bigger than myself and my circumstances. And that's why I'm excited to announce a new project that's really close to my heart. It's an animated program called The Adventures of Ben Born Again and Yellow Dog. So I just opened this portfolio up that's been sitting in my closet forever. And it contained a bunch of my old artwork that I haven't seen for years. In fact, I even wondered if I'd lost it. And when I look at these old pieces of art, it's like an explosion of memories. This is one of my first drawings, 1964. I made this a card for my mother. This is about the age I was when I started corresponding with Charles Schultz. And I was amazed that he wrote me back. Now my sole goal in life up to this point has been to be a professional cartoonist. That's all I wanted to do. So now I'm a brand new believer and I'm in my art class. And the teacher says, you know, the assignment for this month is to do a cartoon strip. Well, I did cartoon strips all the time, but now I'm a believer. And I thought, is there a way to express my faith through artwork. And so I came up with this idea to do a cartoon strip called Living Water. This was actually my first venture into large scale communication of my faith. Ultimately, over a million of these little books literally went all around the world. And so I was realizing that God could use this artwork that I'd worked on my whole life uh, to tell a bigger story. So I developed a character in the Living Water track. He didn't really have a name. He just looked like this guy here. And this character eventually became a little guy I've been drawing since then named Ben Born Again. So Ben, well, he has blonde hair. He's really, again, a caricature probably of me. And I, I decided I would tell my stories through Ben. I'm really excited about this. This took a lot longer than I thought it would take, but it was a lot of fun. I would hope that when people see this animation, it's not just kids that like it, it's people of all ages. I want to tell these little stories, but they have a heavenly meaning. I want to reach people with humor, but then they have something bigger to say. Through the adventures of Ben Born Again and Yellow Dog, we feel like we can take animation and sort of turn it on its head with something they haven't seen before, an animated cartoon that has a wholesome, good, family-oriented message, but even more, a message of the gospel. <laughs> What's up? I'm Ben Born Again. Get it? It's a play on words, as in, I've been born again. And I'm Greg Laurie, and these are the adventures of Ben Born Again and Yellow Dog.